Hi lovely people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fola. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if my videos has helped you in any way, please do not forget to subscribe, like and share my videos. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to cut and sew a wrap top with an elastic band at the waist area. If this is something you'd like to know more about, keep on watching and let's get started. So I'll be drafting out on paper first before transferring to my fabric. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to rule my starting line at the top of the paper. So from the edge of the paper, all I place there is half of my bust pan measurements. That is my nipple to nipple measurements plus 0 0.5 inch. Half of the bust pan measurements I'm working with is 4.75 plus 0 0.5 that is 5.25 so what i place there is 5.25 that will be for my overlap so i'm going to connect that with a straight ruler like you see me doing so that side is for my overlap my measurement will be starting from that line so that is my shoulder line so the next thing i'm going to do now is to place my chest line so from the shoulder line i marked my chest line the chest line I'm working with is 9.5 and the length of the top. The length of the top I'm working with is 20 inches. So I'm going to connect my lines. So this is my chest line and my top length. So the next thing I'm going to do is to place half of the shoulder measurements on the shoulder line and on the chest line. Then I'm going to connect that. Then I placed my neck width, which is 4 inches. And the back neck depth, which is 1 inch. Then I'm going to connect that with my cup driller. And then the next thing I did was to come down by 1 inch from my shoulder line. Then I'll connect that to the neck width to form my shoulder slants. Then I marked the midpoints of what I have there and I came in by 0 0.5 inch. Then I'm going to connect that to get my ammo. The next thing I did was to place cut out the bust circumference on the chest line. Cut out the bust circumference I'm working with is 11 inches. Then I added half inch ease allowance to that. And I added one inch side seam allowance. So on the length, what I did was to place the same measurements I have on my chest line on the length as well because of the elastic that will be there. So by the time we had our elastic, it will gather it back to our normal waist measurements. So then I'll connect that with my straight ruler. So all I did now is to extend my line. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to add the allowance for my elastic waistband. So from the length there, I'm going to place two and a half inches for the allowance for my elastic waistband. So I'm going to connect that with my ruler. So I'll place the measurements I have on the length there as well. And I'll connect it with the straight ruler. So that is my elastic allowance. So for the overlap now, all I did was to mark 7 inches for my front neck depth. Then I connected that to the neck width. Then I connect that to the length, just like that. So that will be all for the front overlap. So I'm going to cut out now. So I'm going to cut the back first. I won't be cutting the overlap yet. So I'll cut my back neckline like that. So to cut out the back on fabric, all I'm going to do now is to fold in the overlap allowance, just like that. 
I'll fold in the overlap allowance. This is how I'm going to place it on my fabric. I'll be cutting that on fold. I'll be cutting my back pattern on fold. So it's, I'm going to place this just like this. Sorry, I lost the clip while cutting the back on fabric. So for the front now, all I'm going to do now is to cut out the line, the overlap line, just like that. So I'll be placing this on my fabric. So I've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two, right side facing each other. So I'm pinning down the paper to the fabric now. So I'll be cutting that out. I added half inch allowance to the overlap area. I'll be turning that with a bias strip. I added half inch to the armhole area to join to the sleeve and I added half inch to the shoulder line as well. So that is all for the cutting process. This is my back pattern as well. You can see. So I'll start joining my pieces now. So I'll remove my pattern from the fabric. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to join the shoulders. I'm going to place them right side facing each other. So I'll place the front on the back and I'm going to join them by the shoulders. I'm going to join that with half inch. So this is it. After I was done joining the shoulders. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to join the side with my one inch size seam allowance. So this is it after I was done joining the side. Everything is in one piece now. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead to M my overlap part like that. I'm going to hem that round, round the neckline, just like that. I'm going to hem that till I get to the other side. I'm going to be hemming that with my bias tape. So this is it after I was done hemming it with my bias tape. So, so the next thing I'm going to do now is to straighten that out. And I'm going to pin that down. Just going to pin down my overlap area. I'm going to pin that down. So I'm pinning that down like that. So I'll be running a straight stitch just on that point like that to secure it. So I've gone ahead to run a straight stitch on that point. I'll be folding in for my elastic allowance now. So all I'm going to do now is to come in like that. Half inch, then one inch. So I'm going to half inch then one inch and I'm going to stitch that round. So this is it. After I was done stitching, I did not stitch that completely. I left about two inches opening to pass in my elastic. I'm making use of a one inch elastic. So what I have here is my waist circumference minus four inches. What I cut out for my elastic is my waist circumference minus four inches. So I'm going to be passing that through the opening I left. I'll pass that round the waist area like that. So I'm gonna have to pass it round. So I'm going to stitch, I'm going to stitch the end of the elastic like that. Then I'll push that in and I'll close the space I left. So this is it. I've gonna have to close down the space I left. So if you want, you can just 
talk that place down. You can just talk that if you don't want it to be revealing, you can just make a small stitch at that point. So we'll be working on the sleeve now. I've gone ahead to cut my basic sleeve pattern. I don't have enough fabric. I would have loved to make it a long sleeve, so I'll just be making it like a three quarter. I have 18 inches. Yeah. If you want yours to be a long sleeve, all you have to do is to draft a long sleeve pattern and you are going to place what you have on the bicep area. You are going to place the same measurements on the length of your long sleeve. So by the time you had your elastic, it will gather to your normal wrist measurements. So all you have to do is to add what you have on your bicep on the wrist area. Then you will add 2.5 inches to the length, just like we did for the top. You had the 2.5 inches for your elastic casing, just like we did for the top. Then you will just cut out your elastic to be the measurement of your wrist. Then you insert that. But unfortunately, I don't have enough fabric, so I'll be working with this one that I have here. So this is the fabric I'll be using to cut out my sleeve pattern. I've gone ahead to fold them. I'll be cutting both leaves at once. So I'm going to place my pattern paper on this. I'm going to pin down my pattern onto the fabric. So I have 18 inches here for my length. So I'll be adding a small elastic on this one. So by the time I had my elastic, I'll have about 17 inches. So I'll be exhausting everything I have on the width of my fabric like that. So I have 12 inches there. So all I'm going to do is to connect that to the bicep like that. So by the time I had my elastic to the length to make it to be my normal elbow measurement. So I'm going to cut that out. So I'll be adding half inch allowance to the hammer to join to the hammer of the top. So that will be all for the sleeve. So I'm going to remove my pattern paper. So by the time I add my elastic to that, it will become my normal elbow measurement. So I'll go ahead to stitch down my one inch allowance, my side seam allowance. Then I'll fold in half inch twice for my elastic casing. So this is it. I've gone ahead to stitch my side seam and I've also hemmed the down part. So I'm going to pass my elastic through that casing. So the last thing I'm going to do now is to fix my sleeve to the armhole of my top. And that will be all for this top. I've gone ahead to add my sleeves to the top. And I also tack down, I tack that at points, and that is all for this top. So this is the final outcome of our wrap top with an elastic waistband. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on post notification so you will be notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.